Uh, we have a great one coming up for you on the loser side of top eight. And uh, unfortunately, heartbreaking one for myself. This is going to be Circa's very own Suicune Master versus Swillow, both South Florida residents. I'm, I'm so sorry for you, DC. One of your homies will be going out right now after this match. That's true, but uh, another one of my homies will be making it further in the tournament, so hey. yeah. you win some, you lose some. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like betting both colors when you're playing yep. at the tables. Yeah, right. Let's Yo, go. Vegas. Show us Vegas. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, these two play each other very, very often back home in South Florida. Uh, it's so funny that they're sitting here now playing in top eight of the biggest Pokemon tournament, tournament ever. Oh, yes. And we're back. Some things never change, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Swillow, of course, playing Mewtwo, so we can master if I... <laughs> yeah, he's playing Suicune. <laughs> <laughs> no surprise there. Wow, crouches under the cycle cut. Let's go, Suicune Master. So I'm not going to spoil it who usually wins this between these two, but... Uh... Oh. Alright, oh wow. Barrier right over that... Uh, or, I'm sorry, right underneath that counter attack. Yeah. You usually don't see Suicune Master go for the uh, the upwards version of counter immediately, but mm -hmm. we see that fire spin again on wake up. Pretty safe option. Nice. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's that's really a testament to how often these two play because most people get hit by that. But Suicune Master has seen that setup before. Right. Don't worry about it. Right. And there's the Crow Gunk allowing him to keep some space. But did he crouch under the Hyper Beam? Yes, so, so Suicune is one of the people who can do that. And uh, Counter-Attack takes it. Oh, immediate Miracle. So right. Again, these two will play each other so often. Yeah. Um, so we're kind of stuck in that situation, charging his counter late, late after Suicune started charging his. So kind of forced to take that Pierce. And again, if Suicune Master work on is perfect. Oh no! There it is. Okay. Right, we're so we're not, not going to let that happen. <laughs> From the same region he knows. Uh, I mean, I've seen it happen in South Florida. But <laughs> you know what's anything about that? <laughs> so we're trying to run this one back while his opponent is in synergy burst. Okay. Again, oh man. So we're trying to jump and the Suicune Master just calls that out. <laughs> And there goes Mewtwo, never to be seen again. <laughs> Super salty about that loss. Where do you think he goes? Like, into the sky? He goes back to the Cerulean Cave. To oh, like... yeah, you're right. I think we talked about this, actually. We, made this, we already made this joke. Wow, I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's got to go compose himself, man. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, here's the uh, Molga again, which worked out a decent, decently well in the last match. Yeah, so we'll love using the support set with this character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it does seem like jumping over Psycho Cut isn't as uh, useful as crouching under it. Yeah. It's a little bit more dangerous. A lot of times that you see, they, they, they kind of, or Sweeping Master jumps and then Psycho Cut comes out at the same time, so like you're already in the situation, not much worried about that. Yeah. And Sweeping Master kind of known for CADC everywhere. Yeah, and a lot of respect from these two, I think that uh, goes to show how much respect they have for each other, especially being in the same region, I think. First of all, Beam on block is a guaranteed punish by Emolga. Oh, wow. Oh, nice oh. fake out. <laughs> Just barely misfacing the grab, though, unfortunately. Isn't that crazy to say? So we can misface grab. Right. Has the biggest grab range in the game. <laughs> right, true. <laughs> Oh, that's it. That's the mix-up, man. You, gotta, you just gotta guess after that one. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> so starting round number two. So he needs to win this round if he wants to even out the set. Right, again, heavy that nice damage. Yeah. So the reason why he does that extra X. Uh, string on the walls because, of course, every time it hits, you get a wall splat, and every wall splat is an extra 20% damage. So, right, that adds up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, Suicune. I've, what are you doing? I've <laughs> actually never seen that combo before. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen him do that. Four headbutts. This guy with the recognition. <laughs> what kind of concussion do you think you get after that? <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> okay. himself into that Krogunk. Yeah, gets the debuff. 
but he doesn't seem that too worried about it, especially in uh, burst attack mode. He just jumps out. One good hit right here from Swillow. We'll be able to pull this one out. Yeah. Just slowly walking away. He knows he has the life lead, so not going to overextend. As I say that, throws himself back in there. Oh, and now it's another tight battle situation. These phase shifts and the little life gains that you get from it really turn the tide. Okay, so a slight life lead was for Sweeping Master, but... Oh, no! Why did he go into the second hit of his counterattack? I think he wanted to get more spacing away because he was afraid of being no. behind him. So oh he just wanted gosh. to do another move that pushed him forward, but it left him even more unsafe than the first one. That was so unfortunate because from the distance he was at, look at this. Uh, just that one counterattack, he would have recovered in time. He wouldn't have got punished, but yeah, yeah. wow. He was really anti because he realized he made that first mistake. He's like, oh, I need to cover this somehow. Oh, that's super fortunate. But in any case, great second match for Swillow. Mm -hmm. We got a 1-1 situation. Move into game number three. Oh, both players trying to kill each other out, man. You guys have played each other a lot. You don't have to do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not even, like, throwing anything out. It's just, like, running around and shielding. <laughs> you don't see this kind of neutral game very often. <laughs> they really just want to... They're waiting for their opponent to make the mistake. Yeah. Oh, the single fire punch. All right, doesn't even go into the string. Oh, man, that mix-up is crazy. You really do just have to guess, like you were saying. I think more often than not, you're going to see the... Wow, great respect from both players. More often than not, you're going to see the disable come out after um, after the barrier. Uh -huh. But every once in a while, you know, if you get your one to respect you, Telkinesis can be an option. Right, right. Great grab. Grabs him right out of the Krogo. Doesn't even take any of the debuffs. And uh, there's the Telkinesis I was talking about. Yo, Swillow looking like he might take the set. Oh, He's one goodness. away. All right, so I'm going to spoil it now. Generally, when these two play, Suicune Master is the one who takes it more often than not. But right. Swillow now one around the way from eliminating Suicune Master from this tournament. Things are so different when you're on the main stage like this. Yeah. Matchups that you think you have the advantage in suddenly are so much more difficult. So some people play better, some people play worse. And look, my like Swillow is playing much better right now as he lands that counterattack. Oh, no. Oh, and, and that's it. He's in Suicune Master's head. Gets the telekinesis. Oh, no. Suicune Master's playing... Or Silla Swilla's playing out of his mind right now. Oh, that grab that grab was the right read. Just a little bit too early. No. I'm working on a perfect in the final round. You can't perfect the perfecter. Not to eliminate him. Wow. Very, very... Uh, you can tell, man. He doesn't want to try to get that chip damage at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep, it, keep it respectable. No perfects here. Headbutt work and wow calls out the counterattack after the second headbutt. Swillow one good hit away. Is he gonna grab him? Okay. He gets, calls it out, calls out the homing attack with a barrier into the sable. Amazing. And Swillow does it for the first time in what seems like forever. Swillow takes it over Suicune Master and the own pop off. And what what a place to beat <laughs> your rival for the first time ever. For the first time. Oh no. In so so long on the no. main stage of Evo 2016. Swillow. Definitely looking happy after that win. Oh no, that's that's amazing. That was unbelievable. Look at this. Calls out two headbutts in a row. He blocks and he says, "You know what? The third time I know you're gonna do something different." So here it is. Sets up the fire spin mix up. Right. right. Push them out of the fire spin. What's? <laughs> I love that. The slowly walk towards him to make him press a button. Right. 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 The intimidation. Great, great play by Swillow, and he does it. He eliminates Suicune Master. Suicune Master is out of the tournament at what? Fifth? Seventh? And Suicune Master is, again, your CEO 2016 champion. Your Pokemon your Nationals champion. And now he's fifth place at EVO 2016. I didn't see that coming, DC. Yes. Not gonna lie. So, oh, no. I, this is, yeah, this is the first time Swillow has ever outplaced Suicune Master in a tournament, and what a place to do it. Yeah. Like you said, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man, this is hype. I, I knew it. I knew it. We talked, we talked about this yesterday. We said uh, this entire tournament is going to be crazy. Top 8 is not going to be what you expect. But uh, exactly what I thought, man. Not what you'd expect. Right, right. <sighs> so, you know, I need a breather. So before that next match, we're going to have a quick video for you guys. So let's check it out. Mm -hmm.
we're back, guys. Ready as per usual, but you know. Oh yeah. As a commentator, you gotta be ready for those kind of things, man. Let's uh, let's be real. Roll with the punches. <laughs> let's go. Looking like my champ. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that's cool. Uh, you know, Controller Chaos actually made my custom bricks and hoary pad. Ooh. It looks amazing. I don't have it here with me today, unfortunately. Did but you tweet it out? I I'm did tweet it. Of I'm course. To, I'm gonna go peep that later. Come on, man. Of course, of course, of course. It's gorgeous. I put it, I tweet out every day, every hour <laughs> on the hour. <laughs> You've got the auto tweet. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Breaks and controller. It's it, no, my Twitter honestly is just constant breaks and talk. So, <laughs> you know, it's oh, I, be I know, I know. Oh, you see. know, sorry, I'm sorry, I, had to, I made you follow me, but you know, now you're in there. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, and on the screen we got a boss hog making appearance again versus Potetin. 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 So if you, I don't know if you know anything about Guilty Gear. There's a character named Potemkin, mm -hmm. and yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. You know, I'm pretty well versed in Guilty Gear. But it's so hard to say or make myself play pot say Potetin instead of Potemkin. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, it's all good. But yeah, the return of Boss Hog, this man's Garchomp putting in so, so much work. Yeah. Okay, and I... I, I okay, we're going for it. Yeah, I got to hop right into it, man. These players, uh, I'm telling you, all the players are ready. More ready than we are. Yeah, definitely. Or <laughs> <definitely. laughs> On Pikachu, Lee Ray Flair. I think he was fun to lose his by Boonton earlier on top of the scene, so. Calling out that jump up Y. Kind of anticipating the dig to be cancelled and not even afraid of it. Nice, just run up, grab. He knows his, uh, his opponent's expecting him, which is weird because Boss Hog, you know, usually very aggressive. Right. Right. I think first round you kind of expect a little bit more of a patient play, even from players like Bones Hog. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. Confirmed into Stone Edge. And he will eat a combo for hit. Right to stand two. Right, so Bones Hog running this one back, man. He, was start he started off this round uh, kind of slow, but uh, in there until he does that. <gasps> wow. wow. So, I was going to say, that attack very, very punchable, especially if you already have the counter out. Uh -huh. uh, but instead of letting go of his counter, you CADC to the max possible damage with his burst attack. Wow. And he gets the buff after. Looking real solid in this first round. Uh oh. But then again, Garchomp with his heavy damage <laughs> turn this around in a heartbeat. Yeah. You have on deck. You know what's really, really funny about what just happened? So you get two buffs from doing that burst attack. Uh -huh. uh, he used Jirachi directly afterwards, which deleted one of his buffs one, and gave him a buff that was kind of worthless in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize. That's weird. Huh. Either way, Potentic case that first round. <laughs> right, 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 right. I guess using the Jirachi gets some meter at least. That's good. Exactly, exactly. Ooh, ooh, double team right through that dig. This man chose the wrong Pikachu Libre. Yeah. He can jump out after the initial hit. Right, yeah, he's a lot of good recognition from these Japanese players. No fear. They know everything, man. They, <laughs> they do. No, nothing's a surprise to them. Yeah. Great burst attack mode getting Boss Hog off of him. Boss Hog, Boss Hog gonna answer back with the Sanji burst of his own. Oh, <laughs> will that? Well, yes, okay. that does, I guess. What a confirm. So, I mean, custom combos on Boss Hog. Yeah. Confirmed so many things into his uh, burst attack, it looks like. And that damage. Heavy. Yeah, only, only about half their HP, you know. Only? No, yeah, only half. It's <laughs> alright. Got half life. Oh, shout out to Garchomp JX. Hits directly behind him while he's spinning, also. Mm -hmm. Great time by Potentin. Usually, Earthquake is really, really hard to counter because if you start it too early, it'll just outlast your counter attack. Right, right. That'll do it. Boss Hog taking round two. I got a 1 1 right here in this first match. Oh, yeah, letting go of his counter a little bit too early. Right. You gotta remember, the uppercut from Dig has like four or five hits in it, so. And like you were mentioning before, you gotta hit the third or fourth one to get the hit stun. Yeah. Ooh, good confirm. Okay. You gonna get the face shift off of it? Because it's enhanced. Yes. Nice. I actually think uh, when Pikachu Libre is in Synergy Burst, all of the attacks are directly enhanced. So. Oh, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. No choice in the matter. So this is the boss lock classic, so it's, it's a patient though, so no mix up afterwards. Yeah. And every hit that you get 
Nice, yeah, that, that didn't look like it was gonna hit. But every hit that you get when against someone that's in synergy burst mode takes away a little bit of their synergy. So it just makes their burst attack so much less potent. Oh man, so same stitcher twice in a row. We're gonna see the third? Oh, that really could have been three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> you might have gotten away with it. <laughs> So what Potenta wants to do right here, get one more good hit, and then immediately go, okay, now he has it. Get the hit, and Synergy Burst as soon as his face shift happens. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There it is. Right, right. It is third round, you gotta expend everything right now. And he's in a good, it's not gonna convert off! Man. And that, yeah, it's gonna be enough damage too. And that'll do it. Hey, catch Oh, we got the Pikachu chest. Yeah, yeah the crowd. the crowd, man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> The crowd is hyped for this Pikachu Libre. Pikachu Libre is such a crowd favorite. Yeah, absolutely, man. I think that's why we don't see as many Pikachus, because everybody just wants to play Pikachu Libre instead. It's just objectively a cooler character. <laughs> okay, calls out that he was the, he just barely was in the air. Great concurrent into uh, the Thunderclap Press. I love the name of the attack, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so moving in to a game at number two. Boss Hog didn't look happy at it. All about that. Uh, about that first match. Yeah, it was close. And yeah, this is loser's side. So, loser of this will be out of the tournament. Yeah, both these players have had a really amazing run. Uh, Protecting again another Japanese player that I'm not too familiar with. I watch a lot of Japanese videos, but some of these Japanese players are really new faces to me. Yeah, yeah. Especially um, because everything is streamed on Nico Nico, it's a little bit harder to. Hey man, I to watch the videos. I got a Nico account, bro. <laughs> I subscribe to Nico Premium. I'm serious. Oh, then let's go. <laughs> I'm in there. Let's man. go. So I gotta keep up with my weave so much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but that's doing really, really good at the start of this first, uh, the second match. Oh, Bossog, please. Can't be punished. Wait. Oh, it doesn't need punished. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty. It looked like pretty unsafe on guard. It's pretty unsafe on block, but uh, I know Pikachu Libre's. Burst attack comes out relatively slow, but I guess it was still, uh, still fast enough to punish. Right, right. Pedro Libre is doing a great job. That last ma that last round was pretty decisive. What, 500 HP victory? Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Potentin. Po Potentin. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. Guilty gear. Potentin one round away from eliminating Boss Hog, who has worked so hard to make it here yeah. with Karchomp. You really do have to just put in the time and the patience and the effort when you're playing a character like Ocho. Yeah, this is not a character you play like as a pocket. This is a character you go in for meaning. Oh yeah. You and devote your life to Garchomp. Yeah, lifestyle for sure. <laughs> yeah, Garchomp lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Boss Hog tried something pretty risky right there. Uh, did not get both sides to bite. See, see the, the distance of JX? Yeah. The hitbox is huge. It's like past the range of his fin. That's a lot of damage from Pikachu Libre. Wow. I think it was a crit and he didn't have a... In any case, it's just looking so good. That, that, wow, that flying press. Oh, hit out of his burst attack. It goes into his own burst attack. This okay. is going to do a lot of damage. He is in flashing red HP. Oh, no. Oh, God. Let's see how he does it. Uh, he should still be alive after this, yeah. But, man, what a way to bring it back. Yeah, yeah, now it's close. Oh, he, he... I don't know why he tried to counter. What was he if he had blocked, worst case scenario, if he blocked, he got his guard broken. He wouldn't have lost the round because you don't take any damage from the guard break. Right, but right. He tried to counter the second hit of the homing attack and uh, did not pay off for him. Yeah. Hard to second guess those split second decisions. Oh, no. yeah. Portrait that's it. Man. He is up a round, so not too much pressure on him right now. But not just a round, but up a game, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Oh, wow. Just back it up. He doesn't even want to deal with this. Yeah. Wow. Uh, great I call out again for Potentin. That is a quick grab. And look at the damage he does. And he gets his buff as well on the knockdown. Uh, once again, things are not looking good for Boss Hog, but this is how it begins. Uh, oh, I think he pressed forward act. Oh, no, he backdashed. Wow, backdashed the burst attack. But that, that is like so much recognition for Boss Hog because he backdashed into the corner. So he had to know the spacing of that burst attack. <laughs> wow, that was super risky, but it did pay off for him. Yeah. He's got to pull out all the stops if he wants to win this third round. Kind of a bad situation. 
Oh, a one more good hit from Bossog, and that won the round. So Bossog probably gonna try and play it safe and get a you know a safe easy hit. So something crazy. Yeah, why not? And the timer is in play too as well. Is Zavella gonna connect? I think he might have landed already. Oh no! Oh, he can combo off it. Okay, nice. right out of the air. Nice. And Boss Hog keeps himself alive in this tournament. Barely. Yeah, <laughs> after barely. that first round, I thought that was it. Yeah. I, even that, in, during the second round, I'm like, this is, a, this is already over, man. I'm sorry, Boss Hog. But yeah, what a punish. Yeah. What a punish that second round. Boss Hog keeping this cool. And going back, someone's about to change something up. Ooh. ooh. Uh, Potato was using Jirachi. Didn't seem like it was doing much work for him, but. Okay. Yeah, he's about to switch up because I know Ooh. Boss Hog only uses the metal. Let's go. I love seeing the support mix-ups. All right. Reshiram will uh, perhaps give him a little bit more pressure, push him away if he needs that. And Crest can, of course, give some HP back if necessary. Yeah. That's a strong support set. It gives you, <laughs> gives you some options. It's been nerfed twice. It's, it's, it's very strong. <laughs> it's still being used. Yeah, right? <laughs> Nerf-proof support set right now. Going with Crest, okay. Have you seen the grab? Yeah. Yeah, Potentin special run. Oh, Anti air call out. It's the enhanced electro web. Nice, nice. I don't even know how that works because it looks like he hits you and like slows down time while he's hitting you. <laughs> that's what causes the phase shift. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> when you put on the mask. Gain special powers. You see. <laughs> it's it's true though. I don't know if you ever played Oras. Uh, this this same Pikachu is in Oras, and he just learns different moves from putting on different cosplay. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't understand why. But <laughs> no one cared about me until I put on the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Great punish from Potentin. Uh, Bossock still trying to make the Stone Edge work. It's working sometimes, but wow, oh. that crowd is super loud. <laughs> Way hype for Pikachu Libre. <laughs> what? Potent must be so happy with that going on. I know the Japanese players love the crowd. Yeah, absolutely, because um, things like that, I don't think you, they generally don't have big crowds like this for Pokemon tournaments oh, of in course Japan, not. you know? Of course so. not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Double team through the range attack and the, the agility to punish. This will catch him out of the air. Oh, no, he's able to back dash out of the air. Still gets his hit, though, after. Huh. Yeah, lucky for him, does not get a single first locked out from the battle, so. Yeah. Best case scenario, I guess. That is a big deal. Oh, run up Electro Web again. This is when you know you're in your opponent's head. Yeah. Man, it's, it's crazy. Pikachu Libre is the one pressuring Garchomp in the corner. Yeah, this is not what I expected. No, definitely not. But this is the third time we've seen uh, Bossock try to jump over him and getting caught by that up Y from Pikachu Libre right as he's landing. Yeah, yeah. And wow. Decisive, and that'll do it. That, that's 2 0. That game. Or 2 1. Yeah, two, that game 3 was unbelievable. Yeah. Potenin said, you know what? <laughs> you think Garchomp has a rush down? <laughs> no. <laughs> See my Pikachu Libre. That was crazy. I'd be really corner. afraid to play a Pikachu Libre like that. Yeah, a rush down Pikachu Libre that just keeps you in the corner. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. That's. That is pretty much like the Pikachu Libre strategy, but I'm, like, I'm in America, you don't really see Pikachu Libre as like that strong, that aggressive. And it's funny thing because you know we were talking about how Japanese players are a little bit more defensive, a little right. bit more patient, but right. Potenin, no, not no, at all. Completely the opposite. <laughs> Blowing know? that theory out of the water. That was crazy. Yeah, and, and, and for him to be that aggressive against Garchomp, which we've seen just the corner kid just being there all times. Yeah, and keeping for Garchomp in the corner. You know, this is this is my home. This is where I'm supposed to be, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come on, let me play, Pikachu Libre. <laughs> what, where do I thrive if I don't have the corner? <laughs> What's going to happen to me? <laughs> All right. Oh, the slowest Yavettel. Oh, yeah, this is... Let's oh, yeah, go. this is when he uh, caught him right as he was landing. Uh, it's like a little boss hog keeping himself alive. All right. Oh, this is going to be the slowest Electro Web. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Uh, so uh, many hits. He hits uh, it like 68 uh, times in two seconds. <laughs> Come on, Libre. Without moving, too. I guess that's a testament to how fast he's moving. <laughs> <laughs> can't see the can't see the hits even in slow motion. Oh, and the pop off. Ooh, oh, and we have the opposite pop off for the re yeah, the reverse pop off the uh, the pop on. <laughs> that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is time. It is time, Bish. We are here, winners finals. 
of EVO 2016 Pokémon Tournament. And we got two Japanese players in Winner's Finals. USA, where are you at? We got Bhutan. We failed. Yeah, yeah. Versus Tonosama. You, you got your homie. Never mind. We, we yeah. made it. <laughs> Shouts out to the Brixton boys in the chat right now. We made it. Winner's Finals, EVO 2016. Let's do it. Turned around mad fast. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, Brakeson. <laughs> we, we in there. Yeah, you got it, man. All right, so Brakeson versus Suikun. Tonasama versus Buntan. Oh, man. This so, is going to be a good one. This is going to be a three out of five set uh, because it is winner's finals. <sighs> no, no, don't start here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> you, they got to stop like, <laughs> scheduling two weeps to do commentary. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so, um, in, you know, in my opinion, I play this matchup a lot. I always thought this was kind of a rough matchup for Grayson. Oh, yeah? But every time I say that for one of Tonosama's matches, uh, he just kind of shows me the you know, new options and new things he can do for certain matchups. So Yeah, actually, I saw him play against a Suicune earlier, and he seemed like to understand the matchup, and he spaces himself out of the grabs and out of um, the hits that Suicune has. Nice. Oh, he's finally doing it, but like, holding on to this counter a little bit too early. Mm -hmm. That's the correct option, man. You gotta counter Blizzard, and still for some reason people don't do it. A lot of people are just intimidated by that animation. Yeah. And, or maybe they're anticipating the dive kick, it's just... They do look the same. Uh, startup is relatively similar. Right, right. And the Victini! Just barely catching out of recovery of that forward Y boomerang. Just calls him that. Calls out that flame charge, because uh, if he didn't do the upwards angle counter attack, the flame charge would have went over his head. Oh. Huh. Side swap by accident. That yeah. Works too. yeah, I don't know if you really wanted that being in the corner. I'm so mad right now. That never happens for me. So, <laughs> Brixton's JX, it does have a liver and hitbox after you hit the ground and can beat out some counter attacks. Uh huh. Uh, I, it never works for me, man. <laughs> Tell Asama just making it happen. Yeah. He's got that subtlety in his Brixton play. <laughs> I'm surprised Tell Asama getting hit by that fully charged on the attack. Uh, but does have the oh no lost I oh, think lost no. the life lead from the wall spot extra damage wow that actually was thirty exactly thirty they would have been tied at one twenty one twenty yeah and, and would have had the um you know Brixton has a, a smaller life pool so would have had a percent lead so oh, that's wow. super unfortunate wow yeah I would have been curious to see how that situation played out how the game would have uh, handled it hmm. all right so. Uh, uh, light screen, just like Miracle, also considered uh, a, uh, has counter hit property. So if you grab it, it is a crit. Gotcha. I don't know why it doesn't actually have counter hit property, but whatever. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Molga getting that jump. Uh, he tried the Blizzard right before, like right over the Molga, but didn't get it out in time. Yeah, and it is kind of a slow startup, so that's an interesting choice. Yeah, Tonosan was really good in the field phase versus Suikun. You saw those uh, rolls to the right and left. Yeah. And as easy as that might sound, a lot of people don't do that. They just kind of fight, uh, fight it straight up or block it and just take it. Max face in reverse of his own. Uh, from distance, he's, this distance, he's pretty safe. He doesn't have to worry about... Oh, he can just punish this reverse attack. Yeah. Oh, is it going to reach from this distance, though? This is kind of far. Let's see. Yeah, just oh. that was max distance. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, from the angle was at, it looked like it was a little bit farther, but... Not, not too damaging. Oh, yeah. So, so can, <laughs> he had the defense buff from being in the universe. True. Oh, and that is the reason why I think this matchup is kind of really really hard for Racing to deal with. Mirror Coat uh, completely shuts her down for full screen. You gotta yeah. just 100% respect, uh, respect Mirror Coat. So does that mean you kind of have to be like a little bit more rush downy? Yeah. And, uh, she's not bad at rush down, but it's not her like strong suit. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Oh, let's go this counter a little bit too early as Buntan takes the first match. So we're gonna have one Japanese person in grand finals today, DC. I think uh, I think yeah, I think that's guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> considering there's <laughs> <laughs> considering there's two in winners finals. <laughs> oh my, but that's that's absurd for me to say that just because of how we've seen the nationals play out and how we've seen CEO play out, it's just the Japanese are here to play. <laughs> they showed up. All right, someone's changing something up. We're gonna see the Dragonite again. The Dragonite support.
Oh, is that? Oh, no, he was using that before. Dragonite and Victini, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. But he did opt to go for Victini instead. What do you usually run when you run uh, Brixen? Um, I like Umbreon a lot. There's a lot of situations. I, I hate RPS, man. I'm terrible at RPS. So <laughs> on a wake up, straight up Umbreon, I'm getting out of here, man. I used to use Fennekin, but I realized Umbreon's way better. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I don't know what took me so long to realize that. But. Get that debuff. Yeah, not just the debuff. It it just it's fr it, it comes out. Um, I don't think the actual attack comes out for anyone, but it comes out a lot faster than uh, Fennekin does, and it's much much harder to punish. Are there any advantages to using Fennekin? Uh, it, off the top of my head, it doesn't seem that way. If Fennekin has a bigger hitbox, ah. and you can combo off Fennekin. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But it mu it's much much slower startup. Right, right. How do you feel about this Victini being used? All the crits for um, I believe breaks it. No, he's a, it's us. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah. My bad, my bad. It's a, he's using a Vettel, though. I, I've, yeah, Tonasama loves the Vettel. I've seen him use it. Mm -hmm. uh, he uses it very well, so. Can you combo out of your Vettel with um, Breaks it? Oh, yeah, of course. Nice. Uh, that was uh, in the most recent patch. They uh, updated the Vettel, so it, you can combo off an air hit now. Nice, nice. Actually, I did see Tonasama combo off it earlier. Yeah, that is correct. It used to be if you got an air hit, they would just fall immediately and do nothing. That was a weird interaction. That was cool. Just dodging all of Suicune's projectiles. Oh, Ember into uh, Fire Spin. Let's see that very often. Nice, mirror coating the Avetal. Wow, I didn't know that was a setup. Okay. Great Let's awareness go. by Fintan. <laughs> nice. <Wow. laughs> Again, Tony's not doing things that I could only do if like uh, the stars align. This man, <laughs> everything planned, everything works out for him. Boontown sending a good position right now against that Vitini out. And if Sukun wasn't damaging enough, crit on deck. Nice, using the light screen to avoid any chip damage from the Hydro Pump. And, uh, did he get a combo into... Interesting, that was a lot of hits before he uh, does a sheer cold. So I'm gonna do a lot of damage, but... At the end of the day, like he was running out of synergy burst, so I guess that's the reason why he wanted to just use it before it ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been interesting if he opted to use it beforehand. I think it would have actually been a more damaging combo with less hits. And the synergy burst of for Tonosama. Sama. See what he can do with it. Yeah. Playing safe, keeping good spacing so that his first attack can still connect, but out of threatening ranges. All he has to worry about is the projectiles at that range. Oh, oh yeah, I realized no. he had the life lead. It's funny, man. They really need like a, a signal for 10 seconds left. There's one for 20 seconds, but 10 seconds. Is 10 and 5 are really the crucial one. 20 is like, okay, I got a little bit to play around. 20 is like, all right, I'm chilling right now, man. I, yeah. You want to go have a sandwich, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sweet good homing attack. Why? I never see that. It's just not a very good homing attack. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, air homing attack, I should say. Double sunny day. Yep, get the uh, Enhanced Sunny Day will uh, not only get the attack buff, but you also get the special one Pokemon move. It's gonna combo into a Vettel. It's going to lock him out of synergy for a little bit. Yeah. That's such a useful ability for your Vettel. Just sealing off Synergy Burst just makes everything so much easier. Yeah, it's really cool because if your opponent's already in Synergy Burst, it locks them out from actually doing the Burst attack. Oh, that's the, yeah, so it's, useful. It's super, super scum. <laughs> <laughs> Some time, but I'll well, get that up X as Tonosama takes game at number two. This is going back and forth between these two Japanese players. Oh, man. And this will be three out of five. Our first three out of five set today. Yes, Winter indeed. Finals. And Tomasama, no stranger to being here. This man has, has won tournaments in Japan before. Mm -hmm. uh, so, he, you know, being in Winter's Finals, he's been here before. Uh, Boomtown, on the other hand, again, you know, I feel bad. This is a player that I'm not familiar with. Um, I'm sure there's videos of him exist on the internet, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, as soon as he gets that knockdown, the Sunny Day comes out. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Charge is a huge chunk of your synergy. I'm uh, sorry, of your support meter. Right, right. Oh, and no. it looks like uh, Tonosan was opting to play a little bit more of a ranged game. Uh, Bhutan is not throwing out any of like the long range attacks we're used to seeing. No Aurora Beams. No Mirror Code is the actual, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the actual yeah. thing I'm questioning right now. Right, right. 
Go gets the Sunny Day while Yavetal is attacking. And you know what? It's not even just for show. He really has to do that because he needs the, the bounce from the Fire Spin to complete the combo afterwards. Right, right. And only uh, the Sunny Day Fire Spin will bounce you like that. Great, great reaction. Jumps over the Breaks and Counterattack. Look at this damage. Yeah. What is going on? Four, four Breaks. Leave Breaks in a load, Suicune. <laughs> yeah. What? Flash, flashing red HP, man. Gonna boost your damage. For, as if you needed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damage boost. And now crits as well. One combo from uh, Boontown could take away all this HP. So I realizes realize that uh, Boontown likes to press buttons immediately after the face shift. That's a, that's a sweet one thing. Honestly, they love pressing 4Y after a face shift because <laughs> it's so fast and unexpected. Hmm. Uh, uh, Tomasama calls that out with the uh, metal call. Yo, Boontown is going Dragonite this time. Oh. I think it was fully charged uh, due to the cheer. So he opts to use it. And there's the Draco Meteor. They're very early too. Uh, helps him get in, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just... Mitigate some of the ranged play. Not that Suiku needs help again with that, though. It's a very smart play by Tonisama using uh, Breaks' trait again. You know, she can cancel her normals and on hit or block into support. Mm -hmm. uh, even that Ember range attack from the infield phase. And early D was at the corner, so get the extra corner damage. Mm -hmm. yeah, just look at the sheer amount of, of metal calls you see happening. And Suicune did not care, just trying to walk out of Yvettel. I think he was I think he was tight, man. He's like, I, I can't deal with this anymore. Too many Yvettels. Yvettel got called like 10 times that match. <laughs> Look how mad Suicune is right now. You see the face, you see the anger. That's also his win foes. <laughs> <laughs> but no teeth, though. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh. All right. And it's 1-1? One, one? It's 2-1 right now. Oh, yeah. that's right. It's 2-1. Oh, three out of five sets. Let's go. So, Boontang going back. Um, maybe thinking about switching up a support set or maybe... No, nah, Sigma Suicune, so... Uh, it seems almost as if... Wow, no sticking with Dragonite and Victini. Yeah. Didn't seem to help him out terribly much. Didn't, like, make a huge impact on the game. Yeah, that Dragonite call um, in fuel phase was pretty questionable. I don't know. Maybe he was just trying to make his way in, but... Yeah, I think he just saw that he had a... Full, thanks to Cheer, and he was just like, you know what, I'm just going to use this and close the gap. I think for the most part, Dragonite is kind of used uh, for guard break setups. Okay. It uh, does a lot of chip damage, does a lot of guard damage, so. Uh, and Field Phase is not as useful, so I'm not, not sure why he's uh, he's using BT now, though, so maybe it was an accidental pick that one time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, oh no. That's a classic. That, uh, that combo started from a critical hit light screen, too, so. So finally trying to use that mirror code, but did not get it out in time. Interesting Yvetel call. No, it's just gonna knock him right out of the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th I'm just saying that's a, you don't I don't expect that. That's a very good answer to seeing uh, the counter come out. And Breaks one like I said very often that the only character who can really do that. When she hit you, if she sees that she's hitting your counter, she can just cancel it to support. That's and very no cool. other character can do that. It's very cool. So the first match looked really, really good for Boontan, but at this point, it seems like Tomasama just has Boontan's number. Yeah. And wow. Clean, clean first round. I think the game that Boontan won, he was winning the ranged game. So I, I don't know what's what's happening. Like you mentioned, the mirror coats are not there, the Aurora Beams are not there. I just wonder why the adjustment is happening the way it is. So all I'm saying is that when I play Sweet Guns, Every time I fire a side beam, I get Mirko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just I haven't seen Boontan take advantage of Mirko at all. And it's not like Tonasama's not using projectiles, because he is. He's oh, using definitely. them a lot. Yeah, like even right there against the Dragonite. Spellcall's going to knock him out of whatever he's doing right now. And we saw earlier he actually punished the Yvetel with a Mirko as well, so we don't see that happening as much either. Yeah, things are looking really bad for Boontan at this point. Tonasama. Just gonna get all this. He's just getting support meter all every time he does that. A huge yeah. chunk of support meter. So now a battle's already on deck again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, just the walk up. Battle call, you know? Why not? Kind of forcing uh, the time. All this chip damage and that almost guard break. The, the almost guard break is my favorite, man. When you get real close, it's like uh, <laughs> catches that jump. Uh, with the uh, forward Y, and things are looking. So, I don't know, man. I don't know if you know the blue pan. There we go. Finally. Oh, but he's CADC. Yeah, able to counter in time, but still make your opponent afraid. Make yeah. your opponent afraid to press these projectiles. Definitely, definitely. Oh, when he gets the blizzard, it wasn't countered that time. Yeah, one blizzard just gonna put him back in this game. Wow. 
all the forces of nature. You got hail. You got Draco Meteor. <laughs> oh, Draco Meteor is not a, <laughs> uh, a nature problem that I usually have to worry about. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's hail able to close out that round, and Boontan keeps himself alive in this winner's final set. <laughs> Finally, all right, now they're coming out. Maybe he heard me, man. Yeah. yeah. Are we, do we have in-house commentary here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, drops it, though. Yeah. Could have got three Aurora Beams off that. And um, Thomas was trying to call out whatever he was doing with the back X there on the wake up. Gets hit out of his iframes. Uh-huh. There's the bounce from Fire Span. Full combo. Nice. That's a great confirm. I'm using the Vettel when I get home. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, the the ceiling of your Vettel is so good. I didn't realize it was this good, honestly. <laughs> I knew it got buffed, but uh, it seems really frustrating to be locked out of your same reverse so often. Definitely. And his setup that he has into it, like he can combo into your Vettel, so he gets the guaranteed confirm if he chooses to do it that way. Or he can use it just raw and has some spacing tools similar to like Retoran. On top of that, even on block, does a ton of guard damage. Yvettel is the future. <laughs> this is it. That's great. It's new hotness. Oh, man. <laughs> now I can't wait to go play net player. Every single Brixen player. Yeah, they're going to have it. They're going to be rocking with Yvettel. I think it was lockout time, and now finally able to use a synergy burst <laughs> after being locked out for so long. Oh. Is this going to connect? Oh, uh, just out of range. Yeah, so it's enough time to get a shield up. That's kind of unfortunate because that was a great read. And, but in any case, Buntan able to take this game and even out the set. Yo, game five? Game five. Yo, let's go. They are so stone-faced. Yeah, they. Uh, these guys know a lot is on the line here. And Thomas Hammer probably not too happy with the way he lost that because, you know, the, the match started off very, very clean for him. He was, he was working on such two good rounds and then uh, Buntan able to run that one back. And that being said, this this set is actually quite a money lucrative based set because the difference between first and second at a tournament like Evo is huge. Bruh. First place in this tournament getting almost ten thousand dollars. And second place probably like six k or something, huh? or, or less than that. Uh, you know, I'll take second place. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> me personally. I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but of course, this is a Pokemon. Uh, I'm sorry, Pokemon Tournament Championship event major. So first and second place will be getting a trip to Pokemon World Championships in August. Nice, and that is a big deal for these Japanese players. Uh, but more importantly, we're going on this match number five here again. See all see those little embers that fly across the screen, those are all able to be mirror coded. Right, right. At the very least is CAT seeing them. So at least mitigating them and not just taking the taking them onto shield. Great call out from that hill uh, with light screen by Tonasan to get out of that but situation. Th this this is what he was doing game one. Like he was really playing this range game, using the waterfalls, using the Aurora beams, using the hail, and he just kinda let it go game two and three. Well, you know, the amount of times you get hit by uh by side beam, you just want to stop zoning <laughs> after a while. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. Okay, we got the 20 seconds. Push down. Jab in the grab. Brix's is jab, uh, or just our light attack. Don't see it very often. They actually have like a decent amount of health given the time left. So and, I'm not going to do anything from that. And Tono Sama seeing the time just dips out of there. Yeah, he's like, oh, <laughs> well, all right, five seconds left. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to run away now. Uh, you get that speed boost from being in. <laughs> <laughs> Dip all right, it. now you can punish this, though, so free punish. Yeah, you might as well. Oh, misses, oh. though. Oh, no, I'll keep running. <laughs> Suiku, no. Tell us how I keep running. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, so uh, that was pretty funny, though. You don't usually see burst tactics like that, but. Yeah, <laughs> complete whiff. Listen, man, this is Winner's Finals Game 5. If I have to run away for, you know, 15 whole seconds, I will do it. Oh, definitely. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah. Got some setups on Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor is really weird. If you get hit with even the tip of it, you get stunned until it's all completely over. Nice. Uh, Tono Sama is in such a good position, locking out his burst attack mode here. Gets pummeled with these embers. Once again, Bluton trying to make that air home attack work. Uh, it doesn't need that time, though. He does have access to his burst attack mode again now. Ooh, nice confirm, okay. Uh -huh. Maybe he might not even opt to use it just given this life lead. Yeah, I honestly would be surprised if he used it here. Oh, no. Okay, okay. okay. He doesn't want to bank on anything given that this is game five. He has to block this even after the same reverse. Oh. oh, so 
All right, so luckily for him, he's one of those characters that cannot be punished uh, if someone activates their synergy burst during their super flash. Uh, certain characters, though, get completely bodied by that. Gotcha. So both them, uh, ooh. Both them losing a synergy burst and Tomasam in a really good situation right now. Oh, this could actually just be punished with the Blizzard. Is he going to get it out in time? No, oh, tries to dive kick. I, no! The Blizzard would have connected. Yeah, that would have been a much bigger hitbox and easier to hit. Oh, that's all I was talking about. <laughs> Getting touched by a single Meteor stun. Enough time for the Hydro Pump. Fish, we are here. Game 5, final round. Oh, no. Evo 2016. Oh, no. Winner's Finals. Oh, no. This really is like a 4K money match. <laughs> yeah, let's, I know, right? <laughs> Meantime, starting out very strong with that. Okay, using the iframes of back X to keep himself in there and canceling. So a back X is really cool. has iframes in the beginning. You move back, then come forward. If you hit them with it, you get a knockdown. You cannot combo from it unless you use Breaks into trait, canceling into a support. It sounds more interesting when you play both. I mean, I'm sorry, when you play Outbreaks in. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, I'm sorry. I get excited for it. But <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, man. There's like all the Breaks and homies in chat just like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take notes. See my light screen, and you realize he already has the score. Wow. That, what a call out. So you saw Buntan charging the counter attack in front of him. He uses his down Y to hit him as he loses his counter properties. Yeah. And again, in this third round situation, stealing off that synergy attack is so potent. And he goes into his own burst attack mode. Totosama. Looking pretty good right now. The big team is on deck, both players. Uh, it's going to be safe because he's in synergy burst. Buntan realizes, oh, man, I got to be very, very careful right now. I'm surprised oh. he's not opting to use more Sunny. Oh. No, too early. He was too early with the burst attack. I think he's going to get punched by the Blizzard. Oh my gosh. That's a big miss from Tonosama. Oh no. And oh. he walks into the water gun.